Tonight, we're going to talk to something extremely interesting. A book that I was recently advised to read, Prediction Machines. Incredible book, very interesting concepts, incredibly important for many people. Being you technical, a business person that is trying to make sense of how using artificial intelligence, or maybe you are a student working out what your business plan for your life is, or maybe you're somebody that is thinking about a new business plan for, for your life. This book is extremely interesting, and today you're gonna learn things that are very important. One thing particularly you're gonna learn is the creation of value from artificial intelligence and where the value is maximized. I'll tell that at the end, but let's go step by step. So first of all, let's talk about three things that this book identifies how the consequences of technological revolutions, AI revolutions, and, and where value is generated. The first thing that they say is what we call artificial intelligence today is nothing else than the ability to make prediction predicting things very, very cheap. Very interesting, very profound concept. So for example, think of, it has been like already 20 years, so maybe 25 years that people are doing these things with the emails, trying to send the right mail to the right people, segmenting customers, sending the right email, all the advertising, sending an ad to one person rather than another person. But what they're saying is this was there before, but now this ability to predict is becoming extremely cheap. And then they say, that's a typical economic situation when a new technology comes up. And then they say, the second thing is happening is that when something becomes cheap, two things happen as well. The first thing is that lots of people are going to use this technology more for use cases that are already known. And we're seeing it, it's all over the places. The second thing is that new people that have different new use cases because the cost of the technology has gone down they start to explore it's just to come up with use cases that were not predictable before and uh, that's basically what we're seeing as well with all the videos i've done for example around augmented intelligence which is extremely important but here we come to the point the third big change that happens and it's the one thing I really want you to remember out of this video. When something becomes very cheap, something else becomes very valuable. All right, so here with me, this is a little bit, it takes some time, but it is really worth, so stay with me. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the things that you can easily understand that become more valuable. So with predictability going down in price, what becomes valuable is access to data. So for example, look at the interview I did with Mark DeSantis. And he, he, he used to be the CEO of a company called Robotics. So what they do is they go and look if the streets all over the municipality needs manutentioning. And how do they do this? Taking data from the garbage trucks that uh, provide them with the images of the streets. So now think for a moment, that's a garbage company has been there for 100 years and has nothing to do with artificial intelligence. All of the suddenly can sell its services into the AI value chains. So something that had no value whatsoever, so the access of the, of the truck to a camera now becomes something valuable. But even more, there's another thing. Think of this company called NVIDIA. So it's very known in the technology world. I would say most of people that have to do with technology know NVIDIA. But if you're not in the technology world, this is the company that produces these things called GPUs, which basically is the hardware on which the most advanced algorithms, the ones that are known as deep learning and so on, basically get computed. And look at the stock price of this company. Just do it. Look at the stock price of NVIDIA in the last four years. It's like, again, and other things that become extremely valuable. But we haven't finished. I mean, look also at one thing called TPU from uh, Google. It's basically, let's call it the chip for uh, right now, the chip that Google has developed to run these special algorithms of AI. So not only they use it internally, but now they have spun it up a service 
for third parties. So again, something that it was R&D before, maybe they were looking at, now, now becomes a service, so it becomes valuable. Finally, there is another thing that becomes valuable, and that is the so-called data labeling. Now, I always talk about this, and just to make it simple, data labeling is basically this concept that when you create an algorithm, you have to teach this algorithm to uh, do something. In order to teach, you have to create examples. And these examples are created by human beings. And therefore, the data labeling, you can see it as basically the act of the human being to create these examples. And the only problem is there had to be thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions. So now, in this sector, there are lots of companies being created. So they didn't exist before. So all of a the sudden, there are money being paid and therefore value being created in the economy for something that is supporting the prediction. So you see how interesting is this viewpoint. See, something goes down in price, something else goes up. And so we have seen so far all the, the value chain of the data handling and what has happened with the data and how the value has gone up. But let's look at the most important part, which this is really the point of the video, the decision maker. Yes, the decision maker. This is the, what they say basically is that the value of the decision maker that can establish the reward functions in an AI application, an artificial intelligence application, is the highest. Now, what it is, this reward function, let's make it very simple. So let's take the example that they put in the book. Is this example that there is a guy, it's a kind of a well-off guy that has one of these black visas, maybe he's almost a millionaire or, or a millionaire, he's on Honolulu, and then he puts the car somewhere to pay, maybe $100, in Honolulu, and then the algorithm that has been designed for looking at signal across you know, a large number of transactions blocks this card. And then they say it's the right decision to do because this guy is well off, he can certainly lose another dollars or the company can take a risk to lose another dollars because this guy in Honolulu that has $3 million in the bank is likely to spend $30,000, $40,000. So if we block the card, what's gonna happen is that this guy is not going to use the card and is gonna divert to probably another card that he has in his pocket. And so for the entire holiday, he's gonna use, uh, he or she is gonna use this other card. Now you see, this is a deep thing, it's a deep concept because in order to make this type of decisions and design the entire application and understand that in this case the reward function for the algorithm has to be different and the algorithm has to decide something different, this is where you need the human being. This is not necessarily a data scientist, this is not necessarily a technologist, this is what I call the AI playmaker. And this is why I hope you understand from this video and this book, it's a fantastic book by the way, the huge opportunity that is out there for whoever wants to become an AI playmaker or an AI product manager, but it's not really only the AI product manager, it's whoever is in this, uh, this interface between the business and the technology decision, the R&D decision, that's, that's really the important thing. Now, if you had started, the big thing is getting the right experience, but if you have really had started or you're doing something else right now, that's where my course come into play and that's really designed for helping you becoming an AI playmaker. Otherwise, you're gonna go and learn here and there and, and, and so on, but it's really only when you understand the system level, these economics levers, and now you're gonna move them that you really become the AI playmaker. So thank you so much, check my course, and uh, I'll see you at the next time.